We've tested dozens, if not hundreds of AI tools, but all of them were web-based, which kind of left all phone users on the curb. And in this video, we're going to fix that. We found some really great AI tools that you can use right on your phone. Some of them you already know, and some will be totally new, but it surely will be interesting. The first app we're gonna look at is called DaVinci, and it is probably the coolest image generation app I found. It's really easy to use and gives enough freedom so that everyone could not only generate any type of image they want in any style, but also do it in a simple and straightforward way. So here I'm on the main page, so I'm gonna tap on this input box and type in my prompt purple hedgehog eating muffins while sitting on a frog. This is quite a simple request, so the AI shouldn't have any problems with it. I also will not select any style, I just want to see how the image will look. Also, while the image is getting generated, the app gives this nice haptic feedback indicating that it's working. It feels so nice. So, here we are. The images are generated and we have three options to choose from. The first one is quite cartoon-ish, the second one is a bit more stylish, and the third one looks almost like the second one, but in a different setting. What I instantly notice is that the AI didn't manage to put our hedgehog on a frog. At least the muffins are there and the hedgehog is indeed purple. Let's get back to the main page and instead of uh, typing our own prompt, click on the surprise me button. This will force the app to generate a random prompt for us. Initially I was thinking about choosing the style but eventually decided not to. And would you look at that? It's a little hamster. And I'm not in the mood to read the prompt. I'm gonna rate this images as is. I like the images generated. They look nice and really stylish. So good job. Now let's try a style. Black and white tattoo. I think that for this style, it will be appropriate to give a simple prompt that will work great as a tattoo. So I'm gonna just type. So I'm just gonna type lion. Again, this is a very simple prompt and the results look great. I can swear I saw people with similar tattoos in the streets. And just for a good measure, I'm gonna try one more prompt. Mars, landscape, futuristic city. And I will pick my journey as a style of the image. And check these out. If someone showed it to me, I would have never thought that the image wasn't generated in mid-journey. That's how good the style is here. The app also can create avatars, but it's gonna require 10 to 20 selfies to do that. And there definitely will be a paywall there. Luckily, illusion diffusion feature is free and allows you to basically take any photo and turn it into something else. Like all those images where, you know, mountains and trees from a face. So I'm gonna upload a photo and select no style and the prompt will be landscape. From what I see, it's all about choosing the right style. Some styles work better than others and you have to really be careful with the prompt to get good results. Oh, and the app can also turn regular photos into anime, not a big deal. Overall, I'd say that the app is quite good at generating images and it does it with a surprising consistency. So if you were looking for a simple and intuitive image generator, be sure to try it out. What you should also try is Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. From marketing and business analytics to productivity, web development, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. Recently, I've been doing a learning path called Edit Eye Catching Videos in Final Cut Pro with interesting lessons from gurus like Brian Garcia, Jevin Dovey, and Marquez Brownlee it's really fun and easy to learn. I learned a few cool tricks about color grading, a couple editing shortcuts, and even learned to write better scripts. There are really a ton of classes and learning paths to choose from, and Skillshare is ad-free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. New premium classes launch each week, so there is always something new to discover. The entire catalog is available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first five 500 people to use the link will get a one month free trial. So consider joining Skillshare using the link in the description below. Another great app fixes something you never think about your keyboard. Remember our latest video about the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and its keyboard with AI? Well, the iPhones never had that. But with Genie, we can get that functionality in a few clicks. But the app is not only a keyboard, it is also a chatbot, just like ChatGPT. For example, I can upload a photo and ask it to write a caption for the image 
and it will do that. Or I can ask it to tell me about a quantum shift. It will do the research, come up with a clear and concise answer. It's basically your typical ChatGPT, but in a different app with a ton of pre-made prompts and workflows. Here on the Explore page, we can see all the ways that Genie can help you. They are divided into groups and categories, such as uh, personal uh, content, creative, business, and so on. And judging by what I see, Genie can write stories, lyrics, generate business names, write code, create recipes, turn movies into emojis, but all that is not the most interesting part about it. So let's enable that keyboard. We need to go to the app settings, keyboards, and turn both switches on, granting the app full access. From now on, I can switch to the Genie Anywhere and take advantage of two main features of the keyboard, improving the written information and completing it. For example, I can uh, type how to pick a cat anywhere and then click improve. The keyboard will act like your AI assistant and turn this little text into full-blown instruction how to choose a cat. Or here I will type resignation letter and hit the same improve button, which will replace my words with a full template for a resignation letter. All I have to do is just fill it out, super fast and easy. No need to go to a separate app, type a prompt there, copy and paste the text. All can be done with one click of a button. Or I can type in job offer and click complete, the AI will replace my text with a longer sentence that perfectly continues the idea of what I have written myself. And if I write Arabian Nights, the genie will write me lyrics for a song. Genie is a really convenient and easy way to access your digital assistant anywhere at any moment without hassle and worries. Another app that you definitely need to install right now is called Blossom and it's a real lifesaver when it comes to taking care of your plants. For example, I have never been that much into gardening and almost all flowers that I ever had have died at some point due to me either not watering them properly or overwatering or them standing under the harsh sunlight and so on. So this app is designed to guide us through the process of taking care of our plants. As soon as you launch the app, it gives you two options, search for the plant by its name or take a photo to identify it. So I'm gonna choose the second one and snap a couple of photos of my plant that is dying right now. Then the app will use AI algorithms to identify what plant it is. In my case, it gave a couple options to choose from and all these options look pretty similar to one another. So I'm going to choose one of them and click this is my plant. The app then gives short information about the plant itself and explains how to water it, when to fertilize and how often I need to repot it. It's probably the easiest way to create a routine for all your house plants without spending hours reading the information online. There's also a cool tab called Plant Health dedicated entirely to helping save dying plants. It will ask us to take a few snaps of a plant, general photo and a couple of photos of a problematic area. As you can see, in my case, the AI thinks that the problem is overwatering. Apparently, watering the plant every day was a bit too much for this little one. Here I can see the typical signs of overwatering in plants, read about solutions and preventive measures. Now I can confidently say that with this, all this information, my little palm is going to be safe and sound. But that is still not the end because the app also has an AI bot which is a chatbot specifically designed to help with taking care of plants. I can just describe what's going on with my plant and it will give me detailed instructions on what to do and what kind of treatment it needs. If I don't know the name of my plant, I can just tell the AI about it and it will ask me to describe the appearance of the plant. This way, even if you know nothing about the plants on your window, you can still take care of them. Basically, it's like having your own personal gardener always ready to assist you. This is truly one of the greatest apps for everyone who doesn't want to see their favorite plants dine out. The next app is surely well known and it is good old ChatGPT. But don't rush to close the video just yet because this app has a couple of features that you won't see on the desktop version. For example, here it is very easy to use image recognition by just pointing the camera and taking a photo, after which asking AI to guess what is in the photo. In my case, it took a couple attempts, but eventually ChatGPT correctly identified the magic mouse on a desk pad. And just like with the full-fledged ChatGPT, I can ask follow-up questions about the mouse and get a coherent and comprehensive response. Or let's take this spin and ask ChatGPT to guess what it is. Surprisingly, the first 
first thing ChatGPT decided to mention is the laptop keyboard and not the pen itself, but it guessed correctly that it is a MacBook and it managed to even read the text on the pen. I would say that this app is by far the fastest way to get ChatGPT to recognize images on the go, much faster than uploading photos to your computer and then to the website. Another important feature is the ability to dictate my prompts with my voice. This way I can just ask ChatGPT verbally to tell me about French Polynesia and it will do just that. I can ask whether there are any erupting volcanoes right now and it will use Bing to search for that, but that completely fades away in comparison to the main feature full-fledged talking ChatGPT that's capable of conversing like a human. And to use this feature, I need to click on the headphones icon in the bottom right corner, pick a voice that I will like ChatGPT to use, and just start talking. It takes a while to process things, but the voice recognition is really accurate and the generate responses sound very natural. It's almost like talking with a real person, albeit a slow one to respond. And if you're curious, among all the available voices, I prefer Sky. This one sounds the most like that AI from the movie Her. And if you have any favorite custom GPTs, you can use them here and you don't need to start a chat on a computer first like you had to before. And Dolly, of course, still works just fine with all the features present. Overall, this is a great app that works just as well as the web version and doesn't lack any meaningful features. At least I haven't noticed any missing ones. But if ChatGPT is not for you, you can always try Bing. To access AI, you can just tap on the big co-pilot button at the bottom. It works the same way as it does in the web version, gives the same great results with links and a ton of information. However, there's one feature that exists only here. When you're typing your prompt, you can just tap on the suggested word and the prompt will fill itself. It's kind of like predictive typing, but done by AI. Sometimes it can be really accurate, but sometimes you might need to type stuff manually. And of course, it can also recognize things in photos. I will use the same photo of a pen. It takes quite some time for Bing to analyze the image. Maybe they don't have that many servers for the mobile app, but in the end, the image recognition was even more accurate, at least in terms of reading the text. It managed to read all the text on the pen and even suggested that it it is a souvenir from a mountain in Spain. And it totally is. I find Bing to be more accurate in terms of recognizing images and a bit friendlier in the way it communicates. Also, there is an option to do voice input, but the speech recognition is really not that great. For example, look how incorrectly it's spelled what I said. Keyboard on my iPhone did a better job five years ago. But what's even more strange is the way it narrates the text. In my case, it had a very strange and unusual accent and it didn't sound like a human at all. And what's even more strange is that if you ask it to say the response out loud, the accent mysteriously disappears. Bang might not be the best AI app, but it is definitely one of the funniest and strangest ones. Another great app that you definitely should try is called Logo Maker and it does exactly what the name suggests, creates logos for businesses. To create a logo, all I have to do is first enter a prompt. The app suggests keeping the prompt simple and minimalistic for the best results. Next up, I need to pick a style for the logo. There are many options to choose from, such as minimal, modern, vintage, abstract. After I pick a style, I need to select a color scheme. The AI will use these colors colors in the logo. Then I wait a bit for the images to be generated. If needed, I can change the style of the logo on the go by clicking on the settings icon. And I also can change the color right then and there. What I have noticed is that the results can be very different depending on the prompt you use. For example, the logos for the dog food store weren't really that good, but the logos for a guitar store were much better. The only problem that I've noticed is the limit of five logos per day, which is really unfortunate. But I think with time, as the app gets more popular, this cap will be removed. But the next app is surely the coolest of the bunch. It's called Luma AI, and it's a dream come true for all people interested in 3D graphics and modeling. Imagine having this superpower where you can turn anything you see into a 3D model, and all you need is the phone in your pocket. 
Sounds cool, right? Well, that's exactly what Luma AI is all about. It's making the whole 3D thing way more approachable and fun for everyone, not just for pros. You just grab your phone, launch Luma AI and walk around whatever you want to scan. Could be your favorite coffee mug, your dog or even a chair. The app does all the scanning and processing as you go and before you know it, you've got yourself a digital twin of that object. Whether you are a student, a hobbyist or some someone just dabbling in digital creation, this app is your golden ticket. No need to spend hours modeling and sculpting a chair, just scan it and it's ready to be used. Maybe you are into game design or perhaps you are thinking about launching a new product. With Luma AI, you can turn any object into 3D scan in minutes. It's making the magic of 3D accessible, easy to use and most importantly fun. So if you've ever been on the fence about getting into 3D, thinking it's too complicated or out of reach, Luma AI may be enough to change your mind. All these apps are just the tip of the iceberg, but they pretty much summarize everything the AI and the phones can do right now. Generating photos, working with text and so on. For sure, there are apps that do more than that, but usually they require expensive subscriptions or take a long time to process. So for starters, I think we should stick with the ones that definitely work, the ones mentioned here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.